Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In today's episode, I have something really special for you. We are gonna do a remake of the most popular websites there on the internet, like Google, YouTube, and Instagram. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna I really wanted to take these websites and make it look like a fancy designer website like Gucci, you know, or Versace. So that's what we're going to try to do and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I keep looking here like it's like the websites are there, but actually you're completely wrong. It's a picture of a goose. And before we get going, if you're interested in learning how to build stuff like this out, check out the courses down below. I have all kinds on web development. Let's go. So the first website that we're going to do is Google. So for this one, I actually found a really cool font pack on Pixel Surplus, I believe it's called. And yeah, they're really nice. They really give you that fancy looking website stuff. And I also wanted to go for like a beige color for this one. And again, like Google is nice and simple, so it's quite easy to make it look fancy. Now I'm just putting on a 12 grid here to align everything and I'm making the second page here as well because I do want to add a little animation and transition over um, which we're going to see at the end. But also using this little plugin where you can add uh, all the icons so you don't really have to go all over the internet uh, to get your plugins all up and going. But then I found out that it's paid. No! So you can actually import a couple of plugins, but after that, you are done for it. So, I resorted to using Icon Monster. That's the best one. I'm sorry. That's Just go use that. I can't promote your product. Screw you. Okay. So I'm doing the icons. Adjusting everything. Very cool. As you can see, I also activated Windows down there, because I know a lot of you guys were saying, why don't you have Windows activated? So I managed to find the crack on the internet. Next up, I'm doing the search results, so as you can see here. I'm just not happy about the adjustment of those. I keep repositioning it, because uh, it looked weird and awkward. But I'm doing the post now. So here, I wanted to keep it very simple. Just text, maybe a slight background to it. I don't know, slightly darker than it actually is, but not too dark, just to kind of separate them. And I was happy with that. I think I wasn't happy with how long they were, so I kept repositioning it. This is going to happen quite frequently in this video, so... Okay. I think I'm happy there. Next up, I also wanted to add the little side panel that, you, that Google has, but I, I, I'm not a big fan of how it looks like, so I want to do it with the sleek black design. So there we go, just add a couple of images, just kind of reposition everything uh, that they have and also bring the images closer. I didn't like the square format that they have, so I tried to do it one by the other. And they also have a, a section where they do books, so I made some fake books here. And boom, 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 that's it. I'm really happy how this one turned out. I love that font. It really gives you that designer uh, website look to it. And Google is simple anyway, so I feel like this was a bit easier to pull off. Let's see if we can do it on Instagram next. So here we go again with this pack. I'm telling you, this font pack is amazing. So again, I just took the Instagram logo and I do want to add a different kind of color to it and font just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I found this one. I can't see what it's called because it's very small on my screen right now, but I might leave a link. No promises. So originally I wanted to keep everything white, but that's going to change. So as you can see, I already switched over to Icon Monster because that plugin on Figma Ask me to pay money, and you know that we don't like to do that. Do you know inflation and everything that's going on now? Exactly. So what else I tried to do is add a little text there, but I figured out people are smart enough to figure out what the home icon means. It's not gonna mean leaving the website, or cooking, or ordering something. It means homepage. So I just left it like that. Added the icons in the center because I thought that looked really cool. Now here I am on Google 
just looking things up to see and get bright ideas, and it failed. So I thought I'd do my own thing and just add the text like this, one after the other, and keep it nice and simple. The way Instagram has it is they have it at the bottom of the screen, they have a bunch of icons, but I feel like it's too many icons already. So I like this format here where you have all the text where you can tab over from, you know, your feed, you can go to shop, you can go to reel, you can go to live, whatever you prefer. And then you have a search bar as well on the right side. I think that's fancy. And what I like to do these days, add a little linear gradient to the input. I think that looks really cool. And then here are the posts. Rather than having one, and then you have to scroll and scroll and scroll, you get to see three at the same time. I feel like that's much better. Maybe six. I think I'm gonna do six. Oh, change the Spotify song real quick, because that was a bad one. And then add the icons. Uh, choose this interesting red color here with a gradient. I thought that looked really cool, but I wasn't happy with it. So I think I changed it to filled up heart icon. And then all the other necessary icons like the messaging. I didn't find a nice text bubble, so I just used that one, but it looks okay. Then I added the likes. I added how many comments this post has. And eventually I got rid of that and just added like when the post was made. I'm like, it looks weird to have like the DM right there. So just duplicated that a couple of times. And what I also did is post them down below there. And that's pretty much it. And then the next step was making a cool animation, which you're gonna see very soon. Lastly, again, just changing the icon as well to a cool color. And I'm like, oh, that gradient's really cool. So let me change everything again to that gradient. Very indecisive I am, I know. So enjoy the rest of this. Poof! So there we go, that's Instagram for you. But this one, I really wanted to make it very easy to find all the contents. So I don't know about you, but Instagram on desktop is horrendous. And even on phone, I always have issues finding stuff that I want to find. Reels? Live? Instagram video? How many are there? What even are these? Just make one. So I just added the tabs at the top so you can easily toggle through it. And yeah, there we go. I really like the way it looks. Let's do YouTube next. I'm gonna be honest with you. With YouTube, I had a change of heart. I was gonna do the fancy style, but I, I just had a feeling that YouTube should look very fun, light, kind of like a gaming website for some reason. So it ended up looking like that a little bit, but here it is. I still picked the fancy font. I wasn't too happy with it, to be honest, but I stuck with it. Just made it, made it work. It is what it is. So there we go. And I also added a little gradient. Again, the input as well, the way I like to do it now. And for the... Other, other texts, I just use Nato Sans because that's a pretty one and it's easy, easy to read. So I was trying to position the search. Also for the uh, username here uh, with the image, I didn't want to go full like border radius, make everything super curvy. So I made it kind of squarey more. Uh, and then we have the messages as well and uploading a video there. I really like these icons. I found an icon monster. And then with this input, I was so unsure what to do with. I wanted to put it down there and then maybe a big text at the top. But then I changed my mind. I added the gradient to there. And then I wanted to do these tags where you can just click on it. Like it kind of like the recommended page where it recognizes, oh, this is the things you're interested in. So you could like click on it and I removed it. So why am I even talking about it? It doesn't matter anymore. So I found the video there that looked really cool. Added the likes. Uh, and I wanted to do like likes and dislikes. Mm, I thought it looked better rather than a thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't know. I feel like it looks a bit better. It looks more fun. And uh, just to keep it consistent with everything else. And then, yeah, there's a subscribe button. I wanted to do a side panel. And I also wanted to do a cool little autoplay here uh, that you can toggle on and off. And I like the blue color. I don't know, this red and blue, I felt like they looked really fun. And then put some recommended videos, kind of like what's coming up next to the side. And then I wanted to make a comment section down below, but I kept jumping around and not sure what to do. So I added the rest of the info for the video, like the title and the description. Which I really like how it turned out, to be honest. Really happy with that. I kept the comment section very simple, you're gonna see in just a bit. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I was really happy with how this turned out. 
So just literally username and then a paragraph there. That's all I added. Maybe I could have gotten more creative, added, added like some icons there and everything else, but I kept it really simple. And then I just wanted to add some UI elements to the videos like oh, the time and then the scrubber as well and the volume bar. And I just kind of used the gradients that I already had. And yeah, really, really happy with this. So I'll let you enjoy the rest of this. So there we go, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite one. And until next time, a babadooey. I can finally go play multiverses now.